Well, guys, have you ever met a person and within minutes of meeting them, you just knew whatever they do, wherever they go, he or she will be successful? Well, that's exactly how you'll feel after meeting Davian Robinson. The three words that Davian lives by are inspire, motivate, and love. And despite losing his vision at a young age, those three words have allowed him to always find the bright side of blindness. <laughs> Meet Davian Robinson, or DJ as his friends call him. He's a Raleigh native, one of the top four paracyclers in the country, and he spent the majority of his life blind. People think that I, now that I don't have vision, that it's like, oh, my life is not the best. But then I, was, I used to tell people, I have the best life ever. As a child, DJ played football, basketball, and rode bikes with the other kids. But because he was born premature, he also endured several surgeries throughout his childhood. And shortly after his seventh birthday, a detached retina during one of those surgeries took his vision and gave a new perspective. We are products of our past, but we're not prisoners to them. Yes, I lost my sight when I was seven. Yes, I have a disability but my person, who I am inside, is bigger than my disability. And I'm a person first before I'm, a, I'm disabled. A person, an athlete, and to many, an inspiration. People always stop to talk to him, to understand his story. They, uh, a lot of times they struggle to understand how he can be riding a bike. They see me doing it, but if this was them, they don't think they could do something like this. With workouts six days a week, maintaining a 3.8 GPA at UNC Charlotte, and finding time to take care of his good friend Charlie, I think it's safe to say many of us could not do what DJ does. And many of us would not be able to find the bright side of blindness like DJ does either. In all actuality, it's been such a blessing uh, because it's allowed me to see the inner man. It's allowed me to see, the, to see the heart of the inner man to where I don't have the superficial, superficial surface level judgment of meeting someone, but I can meet them and see their heart and just to see the fruits of what comes from their heart to see who they truly are. And one of the best hearts he's ever met beats inside of the man sitting two feet in front of him, his coach, Robert Nash. Uh, DJ is really like a family. So, um, you know, I met him through cycling, which I really enjoy cycling. It's a, a passion of mine. And from there, it's just grown uh, into a real friendship. There's no words to describe the, what he has done for me, the sacrifices he has made for me, where he's, without him, I wouldn't be here right now. In, in every spirit, he's been influencing me to be a man of courage, a man of integrity has allowed me to see, you know, see what it means to be a man <sighs> he's allowed me to see what it truly means to really be a man after after something greater than himself it's a fact that i can wake up every morning and face that challenge head on I have, it's, the, it's called my never quit mentality. Never quit, never give up, never give in, never give out. Never say no to life's challenge, but always be, ready, be willing and ready to say yes. And when we can do that, then life becomes easy. Well, you guys heard them. Never quit, never give up, never give in, never give out, never say no to life's challenges, but always be willing and ready to say yes. What a fantastic lesson from an incredible young man, but more than a lesson, I think DJ's life motto is a challenge. He's challenging you and I to live life like he does. And if we do, he's promising that things might start changing for the better.